What's going on, Solid Steppers? Miss Ward is coming to you from Auburn, Alabama. Just finished out some jobs over in the uh, Auburn area. Knocked those out. Now we're headed out to a place called Martinez, Georgia, right in the suburbs of Augusta. Getting ready to knock that out. Then we'll be heading back down to Florida. So, you know, people always ask me, how am I able to manage text remotely? still work in the field and work remotely like all over the country and it comes to one thing which is called preparation and organization so i'm able to do this on a daily basis because of preparation because i do what i don't feel like doing like if i want to do something else i do what i don't feel like doing anyway and that's a real deal you know the reality is anything you want in life you got to work for but you also got to work smart about it so I get to explore things, see different parts of the country, but I'm also managing, like I just got the phone with one of my techs that has, a, has some jobs down in Fort Lauderdale. And we were just uh, triaging for the job. We talked about the availability of the parts so we could do one-stop completions, the proper way to handle the clients, things of that nature. And everything's already lined up. So all he has to do is show up, follow the process, and we're good to go. But once again, I couldn't do this if I didn't have an elite team of subcontractors. And those are relationships that I've developed over time and, and continue to develop. To develop. I mean, I just uh, met a really nice gentleman, uh, Cal, up in, uh, down in uh, Alabama. This guy does great work. And in his area, there are no appliance techs. So I'm definitely teaming up with him to get him on board so that he can do a great job and reap the benefits of the relationship so at the end of the day you have to decide how you want to move and those moves always start with you you got to look in that mirror every morning get up and be focused and get it done even when you don't want to there are things that are in the back of your head right now that you know you need to do this extra step so you can avoid the drama you've had in the past are you willing to do the extra steps the stuff you know you need to do but you just resist it because you don't like it let me tell you something. Every experience we have ever had in appliance repair, every issue, every problem, there was some foreshadowing for that. So you need to look over your day, look at the work orders you have, look at the questions you haven't asked, and I mean, haven't asked the customer and the research you haven't done so that when you arrive and get there, you can not only knock out the job, but you can make it a win-win for you and the client. Move on with peace of mind, knowing that you did a great job. You know, at the end of the day, it's how you move and how you choose to move. Some of us just love insanity. You keep doing the same thing, getting the same result. You know, me, I'm about being better every day. I'm never perfect. I never have ever said that. I'm constantly a work in progress, but it's about leveling up. So I'm able to expand and do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. You know, people wonder if I take time off. I do. I just took a week off, like a couple of, well, I don't know. Let me let me kind of reword that. I was at home for a week, but I was working. You feel me? But it was relaxed for me because I was home. I was with my family, blah, blah, blah. You know, but at the end of the day, if you want to push yourself to new heights, you got to move differently. That's all I'm saying. So take, it, take some time to reflect on some issues and problems you've had. Look at your current uh, assignments and jobs you have to do and work out the kinks before they become a kink. All right? Be blessed. That's your tip for the day. Have a great day. And like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know I always forget I'm on YouTube. You, you know that, right? Be blessed.